Welcome back to the morning show. We now join our rice correspondent Andy Omano Mano for updates on the River State local government elections. Andy, thank you so much for joining us on the morning show. Thank you for having me, Tento. So tell us what's happening where you are. What's the situation of things? Has voting commenced? Was the voting to voter turnout? What is it like? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, voting has commenced as early as uh, 6 30, 7 7 30 this morning. Election materials were distributed. We've been able to crisscross three local government areas so far. The first, MOHA, the second, Port Harcourt City local government, and the third, Obiakbo, where we are currently. We just had that live crossing from Obiakbo, and we are on the popular. Uh, Ada George, Ada George Way in Port Harcourt, where we're having this live. Election materials have been distributed and voting has commenced. The turnout is, uh, if you ask me, is impressive because the difference in this turnout is the fact that many of those participating in today's election have moved to their various local government areas. And so it's not necessarily all the electorates that are voting in Port Harcourt City. Those who are here are Port Harcourt residents and those who are from Port Harcourt City local government area and Obiakbo that houses Port Harcourt as the state capital of uh, River State. And so the election process is on and uh, the voters, one or two who spoken with this morning said they are happy that the process is, uh, is underway in spite of the initial challenges that uh, heralded it especially uh, the planned uh, takeover of RISIEC office. RISIEC is the River State election, River State uh, election, uh, uh, River State uh, electoral commission office yesterday morning. And so they are happy. Everything seems to be going well. Uh, we don't know, but uh, everyone is praying that so far so good, the process should go this way. Already, I must also say that uh, in all the streets or parts visited, you have a very low level of security. Remember, men of the Nigeria police are not participating in this process. But you have men of the civil defense and one or two other forces and local vigilantes who are making sure that uh, nothing on tours in terms of security is given any space at all. We've not recorded any uh, uh, occurrence of insecurity so far so good. And the rivers people we've spoken with this morning are praying that it will continue this way because they say all they yearn for is the election of uh, chairmen and councillors who will be able to take care of the third tier of government that is closer to the grassroots. Temi. All right, uh, Andy, thanks for uh, the what sounds like the, uh, good news to many uh, rivers that. Uh, uh, people. <clears throat> I like the fact that you said that you've covered three local government areas already, uh, particularly Obi Akpo local government, you know, which um, houses Port Harcourt. Uh, but I can see from your background there that um, uh, the popular Ada George Road seems deserted. Uh, and when you say that, um, um, you know, uh, it's been impressive in terms of voter turnout. How do you reconcile that with what we can see on TV, you know, at your background, that other judge way is rather deserted? Does, does that have to do, uh, have anything to do with the fact that the governor, uh, Sim Fubara, declared a two-day public holiday earlier? Uh, and then secondly, uh, what is the conduct like from the part of RCEC? Uh, when you say that things have been going on smoothly, what is the procedure and how are people uh, exercising their franchise, uh, given that this is just uh, an ordinary, in quote, local government election? Okay, Steve, thank you so much. Your first question, how come that the streets of Ada George Street of Ada George, where we are doing this live currently, is deserted. I had mentioned that in passing in my first intervention. And what I did say was the fact that it's not all Port Harcourt residents that are voting in Port Harcourt, where we are right now. So many of these electorates have moved into 
Thursday yesterday, they'll move into their respective local government areas. Don't forget that Port, I mean, River State does have 23 local government areas. And so, uh, if we were supposed to have 10 voting strength, and about seven of them had moved into the different local government areas, you are not still going to see those seven people in where I am doing this from now. So the people who are still uh, here in Obiakpo local government area, where I am having this slide from, are those who registered here. Remember, you cannot vote in a center that you did not register. And so that is what accounts for these, uh, uh, what should I, how should I describe it? A very light, uh, what's it called? Uh, very hu human traffic, I should say. And besides, we just got out of a life and we needed to come out to be able to get this life across again by uh, me who is the correspondent of Arise. Then two, uh, what is the process like? Rizek, as at yesterday, had been able to distribute the election materials. And the process is that you go there, you are first of all, you, it is ascertained by the electoral officers that your name is on the voter register, then thereafter you vote. It's the normal election procedure. The local government election going on today is not different from what Nigerians are used to. You go for accreditation, your name is ascertained on the, uh, 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 what's it called? voter register and you move to the polling unit where you do that without the consent of anybody, depending on the local, go I mean, uh, the political party that you wish to cast your vote. And that is the process, Steve, so far, so good, yeah. Now, Andy, earlier when we spoke with uh, Theophilus Agidi, I think he's in Degema, if I'm correct, he talked about noticing some political alignment, you know, to boost the APP candidates' chances in this local government election. I'm wondering if you've noticed such political alignments taking place in the polling units that you visited. Yes, uh, that would not uh, would not be talk about that 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 would not be out of place given the political political situation that heralded today's election. Remember very quickly that many of the local government areas that today ply their trade on the platform of the Action People's Congress were of the PDP. And because of the pace off between the immediate past governor and the incumbent, they were they were compelled, or should I use the word compelled, or they have no choice, that to move en masse into APP. But what I do see that is going to happen is I don't foresee only APP picking whatever there is in this election. Because the governor had said, and I want to believe that that is what the river peoples, because in Obiakbo, for instance, there are people who are of the APP, there are people who are of the a APC faction, because there is a faction of the APC that is participating in today's election. There is also a faction of the PDP also participating, ABGA Labour Party. And so these results are not going to be a unilateral thing as we've had in other local government uh, elections conducted so far so good. If you, I know you know very well that the mental, the, the, the process has always been that the governing party in the state take all local government areas. But I, I want to foresee that there is going to be a little change in what is happening because the people say they want different political parties to win so that one can act as a check on the other. There is not be any visible alignment, like my colleague in Dege Madishi, in the areas we visited. But what I am sensing is that at the end of the day, we may not have only the APP, whether chairmanship or governor, I mean, uh, uh, councillorship candidates winning the, the ballot at the end of the day. Talk by. All right, Andy, uh, we are hearing uh, from here that there has been an explosion uh, at the Rivers APC Secretariat uh, in, in Port Harcourt. Um, are you able to confirm if there's, if there's been any explosion at all uh, at the APC Secretariat in River State? Uh, where will that be and what are you hearing? And then have you, uh, do we know of, uh, the, about the movement of the governor as at now uh, for this election? Okay, thank you. Concerning the explosion, 
uh, we got wind of that information while we were on the last life uh, crossing with Dr. Theophilus Alai. And when I put some calls through, uh, we were told that it, uh, something like that happened around the APC Secretariat, that uh, the APC faction uh, being uh, heard by Tony Okosha. But what we tend to do is as soon as we are through with this life, we'll be able to get across to that place to ascertain what actually, what actually happened. We've not been able to reach there, but we just got the information that we will ascertain and feed in our viewers at, at, in our subsequent intervention by way of life crossing. Steve. So in the meantime, Andy, do we have any alternative security arrangement in place, seeing as the police are not involved you know, in this election? Yes, I mentioned that talk where in my first intervention. I did say that men of the civil defense, they are on ground, vigilantes are on ground, and other groups, you know, different ethnic groups, IYC, Ijo, I mean the Ijo Youth Congress, uh, what's it called, the query, they are pro there are different security groups that are ensuring that today's election is, uh, is violet free. But the men of the Nigeria police are not there. I have not seen them today so far. Probably uh, obeying the court order as they mentioned yesterday. All right, Andy, uh, the second leg of my question earlier, you didn't answer that, so I'll, I'll repeat that. Uh, 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 okay, do concerning, con the governor, yes. concerning the governor. Yeah, concerning yes, the concerning governor. Concerning the governor, yes. as, as at this morning, yes, as at this, gov this, this morning, we had, we, I had a conversation with the chief press secretary I had a conversation with him, and the itinerary of the governor he gave me was that the governor is not likely to go to Opobo, that is his local government area. Reason being that because uh, the a faction of the PD, PDP as a political party is not participating, but there is a faction of it participating. But the governor would deliberately not want to participate because he sees himself as a governor of all rivers people, and he wants a situation where he will not want to align with any faction because whether the opposition party, the opposition PDP, or the party, the party rooting for him, he sees himself first of all as a member of a unified PDP and is hoping that come rain or shine, uh, there is going to be a reconciliation. So he will not want to align with any part for now. But he said the governor will make one or two, one or two moves at the, as the voting today progresses. And once I am done from here now, apart from the explosion that has reportedly rocked the APC Secretariat, that's another information I will try to get so that in my subsequent intervention, I can give a hard part uh, answer to those two questions. Steve. All right, very quickly, Andy, uh, we know that uh, PDP uh, at least won't be participating in today's election. But from the three local government areas that you have covered this morning, how many parties are involved? And uh, are, are, there, are there indications as to how things might pan out? Yes. Uh, how many parties are involved? 17 political parties, Steve, are participating in today's election. 17 of them are participating. Uh, we had a conversation with the chairman of independent, uh, the IPAC uh, advisory council this morning, uh, the person of Sosara Osaro, and he did say 17 of them are participating. As at what at uh, in uh, Moha where we visited, at least I visibly saw about one, two, three, going to seven of them, but uh, the others I did not see. But IPAC had told us that 17 of them are participating in today's election because they want the grassroots government instituted before the end of the month, the month of October, so that the reverse people can access uh, whatever grants that is coming from the federal structure. Now, Andy, if today's election, you know, is successfully held and the results, you know, declared valid, I'm wondering what impact it will have on the political structure of River State, you know, especially the political structure that the FCT minister is so determined to preserve. Okay, what impact is today's, the result of today's election going to have on the political structure of River State? First of all, Temi, it will have gone ahead to uh, 
to, to put to rest the fact that there can only be one governor at a time. Because before now, the thinking has always been that this election was not going to hold. And we're all living witnesses to events that heralded to this election. Then two, uh, one or two analysts we've spoken with, and from our own investigation, it will go a long way to determining what is likely going to happen in the 2027 governorship election. You know very well, Temi, that the brand of politics played in Nigeria is a situation where governor is able to put his feet politically on ground at the local government area for him to be able to have a very reasonable incursion into whatever he intends to achieve during his own time of election. And so if he's able to pull this through, very likely, very, very likely, that he would have, start, he would have succeeded in starting his race towards the second tenor. But if, if it does not go that way, then your guess, I should say, would be as good as mine. All right, uh, Andy, uh, it's good that you are checking for us. A number of reports online are indeed, you know, uh, affirming the fact that the Rivers APC secretariat, you know, uh, uh, was attacked. Some might even say it was bombed uh, this morning. So that would be a good point to start, uh, given the fact that, you know, the, the several reports uh, are indicating that, yes, it did happen, and there are accusing uh, accusations here and there as to whether it was politically motiv motivated or not. But we want to thank you for uh, your insight into what is happening, particularly around Obiakwa local government and a few other areas so far. So thank you so much, Andy uh, Omano Amano. We'll get back to you uh, later in the program. Thank you indeed.